Good morning guys and happy Monday. Welcome to another week in my life. So I often get asked how I balance school, social life, Greek life, work, and all that. So I thought I would show you guys my week because I have a little bit of everything this week. Um, so today we're starting off by going to my internship. I work at the University of Central Florida with their social media team, and I work to create content for their YouTube channels. So if you've ever heard of the Campus Nights series, that is a series that I'm working on currently. Um, and then I also help out with the Instagram stories. We just started this new one. It used to be Days and Nights Instagram scoop, but now it is Nights on the Street. So it's kind of a quicker format. Um, and more like live if that makes sense. So if any of you are knights or are planning to go to UCF Definitely give UCF edu UCF edu on Instagram a follow because they post a lot of cool stuff and sometimes they post my stuff I actually filmed a video that went up on their Instagram last week for the gather luncheon So that was really cool. So the rest of the week is pretty busy because it is the week before spring break so I want to get as much work done as I can. So tomorrow Katie has their big philanthropy event which is called Katie Shakedown. Um, so that is very exciting. It's usually in the fall but um, we switched it to spring and it just works out better that way. Um, and I'm actually going to film that so you guys can see my freelance job, um, my UCF job. I'm going to a meeting with Zup today and obviously YouTube. So I hope you guys enjoy this week in my life and I'm gonna start heading to my internship. Hey guys, I'm here with Megan and she is my coworker at Zup. So I went from my UCF job to my ZUP job. <laughs> um, we're here at the station. We just filmed a little clip for a giveaway that we're having this week for Country Thunder. So if you guys want free tickets, then definitely go check out that post on ZUP UCF. Um, but yeah, we're at station and the pool is like just calling my name. It looks so pretty out today. It just opened up. It's been closed for oh, a month. Oh yeah, I forgot yeah, about that. I'm so happy right no, now. <laughs> I, no wonder why there's like a lot of people out right Yeah, because it's not even like that warm it's yeah just everyone just wants yeah. to enjoy the pool right no. now i think i'm gonna grab starbucks on the way to the zup office and then we're gonna go have a meeting exciting stuff so i got my starbucks i got a grande iced white mocha with salted cold foam it's so good you guys definitely need to try it salted cold foam is salted cold foam is the way to go everything bagel with cream cheese mm -hmm. i'm boring <laughs> <laughs> we're about to go in we're a little bit early but i think we're gonna head in and talk all about Zup. They're actually expanding to FSU. So if you guys go to FSU, definitely download Zup because it's so worth the money. It's like $5 a month. Yeah. And you get so many th things for free and just discounted. Like 100%, it's so worth it. So download it if you're at FSU. It's gonna be awesome. And you get your first month free. Mm, so. True, true. Oh, shit. Here, comes, here comes. There we go. Oh, I love how he doesn't just walk out a door. He jumps up. Let's. Hold on. Here we go. Hey y'all, good morning, happy Tuesday. It's currently 7.40 and I'm going to go to my internship today. Today's actually Fat Tuesday, so we're having like a little luncheon at work. And I'm pretty excited because they said there would be King's Cake and I haven't had King's Cake in so long. Also today, my sorority Katie has their biggest philanthropy event of the year. We hold a dance competition and it's called Katie Shakedown. It's in the CFE arena and I am filming it, so... I'm a little bit nervous, stressed, but 
I think it should be fine like I did it last year and it turned out really good. So this morning when I got up, I put all of my batteries on the chargers. I'm going to rotate them, make sure I have like multiple of every battery. So as you saw last night, we watched The Bachelor and it was an episode where he finally jumped the fence. But of course they had to like leave us on a cliffhanger and then next week is the finale but I'm on a freaking cruise so I don't know how cruises work like I wonder if they have like TVs. So unfortunately the pollen is getting so bad here. Yesterday when I was getting Starbucks I saw so much pollen like where they kind of like put the drinks like on the ledge outside and I started getting really bad allergies because like my window was obviously open um, and then like for the whole day I was like dead. Hey guys, so obviously my internship is done for the day. Going back on Thursday because we have a project to film then. Um, usually I go back in on, you know, Monday through Wednesday, but um, it just uh, honestly just worked out better for me to come in on Thursday. Um, so now I'm getting ready for Katie Shakedown. I purposely didn't do my makeup like this morning because I had like a good amount of time to get ready and like not rush. So I'm excited because I feel like I haven't gotten ready and like actually did full glam in so long. I'm currently doing a face mask um, because I popped some pimples, which was super fun. Um, but I will try to link these masks in the description box. You can find them on Amazon for like 12 bucks and it comes in a pack of like more than 20 or something like that. So it's a really good deal. And I just like to put on a face mask when I'm like, my face feels irritated, which obviously, you know, when you go in to pop a pimple, your face just gets irritated. I'm actually gonna curl my hair tonight and I haven't curled it in so freaking long. I feel like I've either blow dried it or like just kept it natural because I haven't had a big event to, you know, get ready for recently. So, and this is the Bombay Hair 5-in-1. I used to use the Numi one, but it broke on me after having it for like a pretty long time. So like understandable, but still, I thought I would try out the Bombay Hair and it is literally almost the exact same except for like this top part i think you can like hold it i don't know i wouldn't trust it but you can like hold it and then the new me you can't so that's pretty much like the biggest difference i see I just took off my face mask and literally my skin feels so much better already and it like looks very glowy so I'm very happy about that but now I also don't want to put on makeup because I feel like my skin looks like and feels really good without makeup on but we're gonna have to kick it up <laughs> but I'm gonna put on moisturizer because my skin gets dry like instantly even though that face mask was hydrating I'm using the Elizabeth Arden good night sleep restoring cream and I actually got this from TJ Maxx for like maybe $12 and it's a really good face cream. The last one I used was Clinique's uh, Moisture Surge and it was pretty expensive. So I'm almost done getting ready. Um, I'm just finishing up doing my lashes. I'm actually using these Trio lashes um, for the first time. I've heard before that they're way easier to put on um, over strip lashes and I agree, but they're also way more time consuming. So that was probably not smart of me to do today because I still have to film some stuff for Zup um, while I have makeup on and like while I'm all ready. Might as well, you know, take advantage of that and just film some stuff. These lashes are definitely a different look than strip lashes. I mean, I wouldn't say they're natural, but it definitely gives off the appearance that I have like my lashes done. I don't know if I like this look, but I still need to put on bottom mascara. And sometimes I forget to do that and it's really bad because every time I'm just like something's missing on my face and it's always bottom mascara. I realized after I filmed like one of my last videos that I wasn't wearing bottom mascara. I was like, ugh, so annoyed because it just makes such a big difference. So I'm done getting ready. This is my makeup. This is my hair. My jewelry is probably all from Boohoo. My, I don't, I literally don't know where this jumpsuit is from, but... I actually made my first order off of Dote the other day, and this was one of the pieces. 
So I got this jumpsuit from Pretty Little Thing. All right, let's let's sit down and talk for a little bit because I I have some time to before I go to the arena. Um, Katie Shakedown is in the CFE arena, and I'm filming it like I said. So you know, a little stressed, a little nervous, but I always get a little nervous before I have like a little photo gig or video gig, whatever it may be. I get nervous. I know I can do it and I know I'm going to kill it, but I always feel like I'm going to forget something or like something's going to happen, like batteries are going to run out. Even though I have like millions, something's just going to happen. But positive vibes, hopefully everything goes smoothly. Um, and I'm really excited to see everyone's dances. Usually I don't like get to like watch because I'm like filming and just so preoccupied on like making it focused and like I'm probably going to um, set up my big camera on the tripod and then use my stabilizer with the vlog camera. That's what I did last year and I used the little camera more. Um, actually majority of the video I think it was all from the little camera but just for backup purposes I'm going to set up my big camera. So yeah. That is all the updates for now and I'm not sure how much footage I'll get on the vlog camera because it will be attached to my stabilizer and it's hard to vlog if I'm holding a stabilizer with the camera on it. So, probably on my iPhone, so sorry about the quality. That Kaylin's dress. Delivery for Kaylin. I wonder if Kaylin's nervous. I know, me too. I be sure to me too. For sure. We made it to the CFE arena. We're pretty early. They said to be here at 5 and it is currently 513, but early on KD time because like look, it's like barely anyone here <laughs> out of like the 100 plus girls we have. So front row, yes, senior year. We have seniority and we get front row finally. Actually last year I sat here because I was filming, but like at least I have my friends. And then PC 16, like a couple of you. We want you like sprinkled upstairs. Maybe Are you nervous? Okay, let's just sit our table yeah. so I can see where yeah. My bestie's gonna announce shakedown. <laughs> Steamed by Sonali. Oh, go girl. We are starting. People are arriving. <laughs> so excited. Yes, Alex is taking pictures. I got the video. Teamwork. <laughs> Katie Shakedown is a wrap. We raised $91,000, insane, like crazier than any other year, honestly. Um, and now we're in the kitchen. Best snack ever. Famous pizza rolls. Yes, the um, famous Katie pizza rolls. I personally like the French toast ones the best, but you know, you gotta get a little savory and then a little sweet. I just gonna shake down and now Darby's here. Wrong wrong. Darby's. <laughs> An alum, she graduated last semester, yes. but now she's back for the night. Yeah, she was a judge at Shakedown. Yes. How was it difficult or was it yeah. a lot of fun? Let's like, hear from what? the judge's perspective. Ooh, um, <laughs> I feel like it was a little bit difficult because I'm coming back I and I like know so many people and yeah. I kind of feel torn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But overall, I and think... everyone's dances was like really good. Yeah. Like there but wasn't the, like any. There's decisive. a lot of people that kind of stood out from the rest of them so yeah. it wasn't super super hard. and it's also you know like mainly about like how much money you raised because that's kind of at the end of the day that's what's most important is and how much money, money did we raise we raised over ninety one thousand. hell yeah yeah that's like beyond more super excited just thought i would show you my outfit of the night we are going to head to pub
happy Wednesday. It is so late in the day. I didn't really feel like vlogging today. Um, I was working on my computer a lot of the day. I was doing things for Zup and I also need to edit like literally so many of my own videos. So I need to squeeze that in. But then there's so many shows that I want to watch too. Like Very Cavalry, it's back on and I love it. And then Bachelor, I didn't watch the women tell all because um, Shakedown was last night. And then my Lindsay Lohan Beach Club show. <laughs> so there's so much to do. But right now I'm doing a grad shoot. So I'm taking pictures of Marisid. You guys saw her in like one of my um, past vlogs, like pretty recent actually. We went to dinner in Winter Park. research important things we have to do. <laughs> hey guys, it's March 7th and it's currently 11. I'm on campus. We're going to film some stuff um, at my internship with UCF. We're going to film Nights on the Street. If you guys haven't heard about it, go check out ucf.edu on Instagram and there'll be a little highlight and you can go see all of the Nights on the Streets. Hey everybody, this is Jeff and welcome back to Nights on the Street. So for the series, we record with an iPhone. Um, we used to do days and nights with a camera, but this is just more like live in the moment kind of content. Um, and then we use a Rode mic. So it's a really good mic. Like I highly recommend this. I definitely want to get it for myself, but I don't really do like a lot of interviewing. So I feel like it would be pointless, but honestly, if I did, I would totally get that mic. Ready? Today we're asking what your plan for spring break are. Comment in the box below. I'm back home and I'm going to make some quick edits on a Zup video that is supposed to go live on their Instagram um, today. Then I have some quizzes to get done for my online classes um, and I know I probably haven't shown you guys much academic stuff just because I am a senior and I took two classes last semester and I'm taking two classes this semester and they're probably like one of the more easier classes that I've ever taken because I wanted to like, you know, have a chill senior year which obviously it is 100% like the busiest time of my life because I have so many um, things to do with like my jobs and stuff but I'm really glad that I ended up this way that I could just have two easy classes in my last semester because I did want to get like as much experience as I could um, going into the real world so I'm going to go on web courses and get that done last night I stayed up till 2 30 a.m because I was just getting editing done for um, Zup. And then I also posted all of the Katie Shakedown dances um, on my photography page. So I thought that was a great way to like get exposure for my Facebook page. And it's been working because people are sharing their videos and stuff like that. So I'm really happy about that. It took forever, but I think it's worth it because, you know, any way to get exposure is good. We are like literally dying right now. We need food ASAP. There's happy hour today. Wednesdays and Thursdays is buy two sushis, get one free. And that's like a lot, but like we're thinking that'd be good leftovers. So we're gonna do that. Yummy. This is Nicole. Hi. We're back from sushi. Me and Tiff like literally ate for like five oh minutes God, and then God. realized we were like so oh, full. We're lying. What? I thought you were saying I'm back from sushi. I thought I was making things up. I'm like, it was really good. I was going to tell no, you no, about no. the sushi I didn't eat. No, me and Tiff went to sushi. It was just so much sushi. So we ate for like five minutes and then we're like, you know what? We're full. Like, yeah. take it home. And literally this guy, Nicole. This guy oh. walked like right, right past her table, like did a like glance at her um, table, and then he like said, "Wow, you guys are really gonna eat all that?" Well, because you guys order like five plates every time. No, <laughs> there's like ten things. I would probably say that too. No, that's so <laughs> rude for a, a, an older man to say that to like two younger girls. Like, good thing I'm not like freaking sensitive. Actually, I am. But like, yeah. <laughs> clearly, you I just. Uh, actually, I am. Honestly, that was just you rude. Are sensitive. 
I like I, I'm not gonna take it to heart but like that was just kind of rude like I would never say that to a stranger walking past their dinner table like who, yeah, it's a little much. Like who in their right mind would freaking do that? I don't. I don't know. Well, I asked Molly to go to wine room with me, and she said no. <laughs> and that's the moral of the story. I literally said no. Yeah. Yeah. I just texted her. Hey, Sonali, do you want to go to wine room? I and said, she said, Not, not really, <laughs> because Sonali doesn't care to make excuses. So. Yeah. Well, the thing is, like, I have, I, like, had so much to do, like, work-wise. Yeah, you look very busy right now. Yes. <laughs> because, and, like, now that I don't, now that I finish, you know, the important stuff, I can work on my own vlog, which is, like, important to me, so. Yeah, but you guys, all of our followers, would have loved to see Wine Room, and now they can't. Do they not see it? So comment they? and tell Sonali that you want her to go to Wine Room next time with me, and then you guys can see Wine Room. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm probably going to end the vlog here tonight because I'm just trying to get shit done and then I really want to watch my shows but I, I don't think I will. I'll probably just get in bed and like go to sleep because last night I stayed up till 2.30 posting those shakedown videos. Yeah, you ended up before You were kind of quick. I was surprised. Well, I so tried to be. Like, I feel like that, like, I hate, obviously people have lives and stuff but vi videographers should know like that people want it now you know what I mean everyone wants everything yeah yeah demands. and like I mean I personally want everything now so like if people want it now and like I have time well yeah, I didn't it. have give time but they want it give the people what they want yeah so I stayed up till 2 30 a.m but it was worth it because now everyone's sharing my page and everything Oh, I know. It was smart. Yeah, you, you, posted it. Yeah. you posted it off of Sonali Productions. Yeah. I think of all the parents. Move, I know. Because everybody's been posting it off of that. Mm -hmm. They're, like, sharing my page and everything, and I was like, Yeah, amazing. that was definitely a good move. Good morning, guys. Happy Friday. I got to sleep in today, so that felt amazing. But now I feel lazy because it is, like, 1030, and I haven't really done much. But since today is Friday, I have to do so much because we get kicked out of our sorority house tomorrow at noon. Uh, because the sorority house unfortunately isn't open during spring break. So I have to pack, I have to film spring break hauls, I think I have like another video to film, and I just, I feel like I don't even have time to get ready today because I have a grad shoot to go to. I also have a facial booked and an ortho appointment booked because I got rubber bands. I don't know if I told you guys this, but I got rubber bands and one of the buttons snapped, so I have to go get that fixed. Today I'm wearing my Soul Fitters hat and it has like this little Orlando logo over here. I literally just want to stock up on like UCF gear, Orlando gear, just like more general clothing because unfortunately I can't, you know, wear my KD shirts for the rest of my life because I think it's just a little weird. Like, of course you can wear like your t-shirts at home, but like if you're, I don't know, it's, it's just weird. I don't know. Soul Fitters is a brand inspired by representing your hometown or school. So, obviously, I got an Orlando one on. They probably have an Atlanta one. I should have checked. But I do have an Atlanta hat. And I don't have an Orlando hat or a UCF hat. I definitely need to just stock up on all of that. They also have a big range of apparel you can get. So, you can get, like, any type of hat, long sleeve, short sleeve t-shirts, and pretty much any kind of material. So, if you guys are interested in repping your hometown or college town like me, I will have their website in the description box below so you can check them out. So I think I'm going to actually end this vlog right now because I want to do a whole other vlog like prepping for spring break, pampering myself, but also being stressed as frick because I have so much to do. Um, so I will see you guys in the next vlog and then the vlog after that will be probably my spring break vlog. So super excited going on a cruise for the first time in my life. A little nervous um so if you have any advice let me know in the comments down below but i will see you guys in my next video bye